Hey guys, welcome back. I want to talk um, a few minutes today about airbrush makeup. I know that um, it can be a little daunting if you are a makeup lover who wants to buy a machine for yourself for personal use or if you're a makeup artist who wants to buy it um, and increase your uh, offering to your makeup clients. Um, I was in this position last year and I didn't really know what I wanted to purchase for myself. I wanted something I could use on myself and use on my clients easily, quickly, um, that wasn't extortionately expensive but it was kind of a reputable name brand with good customer service and I, I didn't want to buy just any old equipment I wanted to buy something nice and so I'm gonna invest the money I thought I should buy something good I went with the temp 2 system this is the video that I was looking for when I was trying to find something on YouTube about what is what everyone thinks of airbrush equipment this is the one that I was looking for so since I went ahead and purchased it and used it and loved it and found out some quirks and weird things that I'm into I thought I'll just film it so that hopefully this will help someone else I dipped my toe in and purchased the Temp2 um, AirPod system. And if you're not familiar with the AirPod system, you obviously get a, a compressor. And this is the Temp2 2.0 compressor. It's very nice. It's lightweight. If you want to use it for yourself, you can sit on your bathroom vanity. It's not heavy at all. If you're a makeup artist and you need to carry it, it's really super light. Um, so I actually, I really like this, this compressor. And it's not that loud. If you want a demo of this, just give me a thumbs up or a comment. Um, there are a lot of videos on how to use these, so I didn't really necessarily want to get into that. I just wanted to kind of give you my two cents on why I like this. Anyway, um, AirPods, back to that. I, I thought AirPods are good for me because I don't want to have to clean the machine. Um, I want to just be able to plug these little guys in and go. And so they're like little ink cartridges for your airbrush machine, which I thought was pretty awesome. Um, and here's the handle. I mean, it's very super simple. Again, there's plenty of demos online about these, but I'll just show you kind of quickly. You obviously would have this plugged into your machine, your handle here. Um, you want to take this little back end apart off the back of it and just simply slide it in. And that's what was most appealing for me because I wanted this to be um, super simple. And I also didn't want to have to clean up. I do a lot of bridal, as you all know, so I'm doing people really quickly and I don't have a lot of time to clean machines and I was like oh I don't know this is kind of like what I think might work for me the end of the day I'll spare you the, the details and the long rambly ramblies um I don't like the foundation as much as I like the SB formula which is a silicone base from temp which is this these um this is a very small pack but these little bottles of foundation this is the original temp 2 SB um really love it now obviously you can't run that through a pod so you have to run it through a gravity fed trigger and this is the sp40 the sp40 so this is a gravity fed trigger obviously for your airbrush machine now i was a little intimidated by this initially um just the cleanup i know that they can be cantankerous they can like jam they can clog having a backup needle having a backup handle having a backup one of these is actually wise and I think I'm going to scour uh, eBay and see if I can't find a used one that I can just have as a backup because again if you're on a paying job and you get jammed up you have to just obviously keep the show moving so anyway that's the end of the day I love the pods and the ease of use and I don't hate the the um the foundation I think the foundation's great if you want to just use it on yourself and just a quick little application in the morning if you if you like that airbrush finish and you want an airbrush unit for yourself I think the pods are fantastic I don't Personally, on my skin, I've used it on myself. I've used the AirPod Foundation on other people. I know Temp2 says it's SB. I have to disagree. It smells different. It performs differently. Um, you have to be very, very careful of how you apply the foundation. Now, they do have AirPods that have blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. Those I love. So essentially what I've done for my professional kit is I will pack this handle and I will pack my SB foundations to apply on the face as foundation on top of the SB primer you always have to prime with airbrush um, as you do with virtually everything else and then I will use um, airpods highlighters blushes bronzers with this so I snap off my SP 40 I pop this on because it's the same hose and the same compressor so really the only thing you have to change is the handle and that's just, that's how quickly you can switch it so I love that I will say that is cool um, and I don't mind the pod foundation on myself. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. And if I'm going to be doing a wedding party, if I've got 12 people to do, if it's going to be hot, I don't really want to worry about my, how my makeup looks. So I will airbrush myself for those type of things. But ordinarily I just wear uh, either a cream or a, 
uh, a liquid foundation, I, my skin tends to be dry. I have weird, my skin is very weird right now. Um, so I like the pods for the, the pigments, like the blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. The highlighters are beautiful. They're all gorgeous. The foundation I don't love. Um, I don't like it the way it performs as well as I like the SB. Also, you can't blend your pods, obviously. So you have to purchase several different pods and then layer. If you get something that's too light or too dark, you have to go back in and, and blend over it. So I don't... I don't love that aspect. I like being able to blend and mix and I don't like taking the chance of having to layer and I haven't mastered that art um, of layering the pods because I don't like the, the way it performs enough to learn how to do that. So I just sort of chuck that idea right out the window. I'm going to use SP, God, SB in my, so I'm going to use SB foundation in my SP40 um, gravity fed gun and then for blushes, bronzers and, con and, and highlighters. I'm gonna just switch it and use the pods because they're great, they're beautiful, they're easy, and you don't have to clean it. So you have, for the professional, I think you almost have to have both. By purchasing the pods, you'll have a little flexibility and you can go quickly and you don't have to clean because obviously you can put blush, bronzer, and everything through this, but then you have to clean it and I, I, I don't have time for that. I just keep it moving, keep it moving. So um, that's why I like the pods. I'm into the pods a lot for that. Um, but for yourself, I think that the, the SP40 might be a little too aggressive for you. Also, you have to clean it every day, which is kind of annoying. If you're going to use it for yourself, and I've used it on myself, I mean, I use it on myself. I taught myself how to use a, an airbrush machine by doing it on myself. Um, it's just a lot of work. And frankly, I'm lazy. I clean makeup brushes for a living and I, six days out of seven, put my makeup off my fingers because I'm just lazy. Um, so that's where the, the spiel, I really like Temp2, I bought them because of the name and I'm not afraid to say that and I'm not, you know, I'm disappointed that I did. Their customer service was fantastic. Um, I did purchase directly from Temp2. If you're a professional makeup artist and you qualify for the pro discount, definitely get it. It will save you 30%. I think you have to spend 30 to $50 to get your pro card, but then you can redeem that sign up fee, um, in product in the next 30 days. Um, which is of course worth it. So that's, that's that. Um, I recommend doing that completely. I would avoid purchasing Temp2 products from Amazon. I know a lot of people have had issues with uh, customer service from the fulfillment people that do that. So if you're interested in getting a Temp2 unit, I would thousand percent recommend purchasing it directly from them. Um, as I said, the customer service that I, uh, the customer service folks that I dealt with were amazing and wonderful and super helpful and sweet and lovely. And that's always important. If I'm gonna be driving that kind of money, I like to know that if I need help, I have it. So the studio is a little backwards because I've had a lot of people in here and I haven't rearranged the furniture for shooting. So it's a little, also it's daytime, which I never shoot during the day because um, I never have time. But so today I had 10 minutes to spend with you. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, if you want to see a demo of the, either the AirPods system or the SP40, if you have any questions, um, definitely give me a thumbs up or comment. Also, you can visit Temp2. Temp2 has their own channel on YouTube and they give you really amazing demonstrations how to get the SP40 apart, how to use it, blah, blah, blah. Why reinvent the wheel? You don't need to see me do that. They do it just fine. I just wanted to show you um, what I bought and what I like about it. So if you're a pro, get both. If you're just looking for something for yourself, the pods are just fine. So thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time. Bye. See my